is Charity and this is Rebecca Chaperone Hello. at her studio in Vancouver. Rebecca graduated from Emily Carr with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in 2002 and we're just here to discuss a few of her techniques and her work. Um, I'd say my work is mostly narrative and fairly imaginative and there's often a story being told. I work mostly in acrylic but I have sort of experimented with mixed media techniques as well. Great. Okay. Well, let's take a look at a few of your samples. Okay. So, uh, back in the spring of 2009, I started experimenting with uh, digital printing and just trying to find uh, what qualities I could bring to those prints, um, the originals being in acrylic paintings and then printing them onto paper surfaces. Um, there's a lot of variables to consider and the prints turned out different almost every time. So here's an example of uh, a painting that I did and then had it reproduced digitally. Um, you can see that it picks up a lot of the textural information really well um, and the colors are actually pretty spot on. I think it's a little bit warped um, but that's okay. And also have a couple of prints here which look relatively the same but um, it's one of those subtleties of printing. One is actually quite a bit darker than the other. Once you do a bit of printing your eye becomes attuned to that. And this is the original of that print. So you can see the colors are fairly spot on and again it's picking up the texture even of the, uh, the wooden panel that it's painted on a little bit there. So I was very interested in reproducing my work digitally uh, to aid in the circulation of my artwork in the public without um, having to make tons of work myself, but being able to reproduce work that I already had. And also for promotional reasons, so in some cases to you know, make an art card um, or make posters of my work. So I guess uh, one of the major surprises that I encountered when I was printing digitally um, was that some of the prints that I created actually ended up not being made with pigmented ink, um, which uh, I was hoping to use, and so that was a bit of a stumbling block for me. But the colors in comparison um, from the original to the print are actually fairly close, so it's not something you would uh, notice right away, but over time it might fade pretty quickly. Um, so once I discovered that the prints weren't pigmented ink, I decided to use them for promotional purposes um, and to sell them for cheaper prices, so at more of a poster price than at a fine art um, limited edition print price. And I also use some of them to send out for um, gallery submissions and things like that. I'd say um, it's a really good idea if you're considering to digitally print your artwork that you ask yourself what are what you really want to do uh, with the artwork. Uh, do you want to just sell some posters at a, at a cheaper price? Do you want to make a limited edition of prints? Um, and that way you can con control the value of what you're doing and also um, really make sure that you know that the printer that's being used to create your pieces is something that's capable of, of printing in with pigmented, pigmented inks um, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, so I do have one upcoming show in 2011, a uh, solo show that I'm preparing for this year. Uh, it's at the Grant Gallery in Vancouver, BC, and uh, the show will be called Like a Great Black Fire. <laughs>